Switching up taking photos with your phone to a more versatile entry-level DSLR can be both exciting and a bit intimidating. Choosing the camera that will work best for you can be a bit of a challenge, especially with all the different options that are available. In this video, we break down the top three entry-level DSLRs on the market this year based on performance and situations they'll be used in. So if you're interested in finding out which DSLR will be best for you, stay tuned. All the links to find the best prices on all the products mentioned in this video will be in the description below. The products mentioned in this video are in no exact order, so be sure to stay tuned till the end so you don't miss anything. We'll start with the Canon EOS Rebel SL3, our choice for best value entry-level DSLR. If you're new to DSLR photography, the Canon EOS Rebel SL3 retails for around $700 and comes with everything you need to start shooting right away, including an EFS 18-55mm lens kit, making it an excellent value entry-level DSLR package. The SL3 is small and light, so it travels well and it's a great choice for beginners who want to capture stills and 4K video. All the most frequently used controls, like shutter release and ISO button, are within easy reach and the 3-inch LCD gives you a 1040K dot resolution that supports touch input. The display is mounted on a hinge, so you either swing it out to the side or face it all the way forward making it a great option for vlogging, and when it's not in use, it folds up and out of the way. There's a pop-up flash on the top of the camera that can be used in a pinch if you're trying to shoot in low light, and a hot shoe is also available if you prefer to use an external flash that will let you position it where you want it, or to bounce light off the ceiling for a softer fill. The SL3 has a 24 megapixel APS-C sensor and Digic 8 image processor that produces high resolution images and beautiful 4K video. Photos and videos have fine details and dynamic rich colors from the deepest reds to emerald greens to lush blues and purples. There's also fun options like 4K time-lapse movies and a creative assist feature that will help you select, adjust, and preview their effects in real time. The SL3 lets you shoot with dual pixel CMOS AF for fast, accurate autofocus that helps you get the photo you want, right as the moment happens. The camera has an expansive focus area of around 88% horizontal and 100% vertical when working with the included EF lens. The eye detection AF analyzes the image and automatically determines where to focus based on your subject's eyes, helping you capture a treasured headshot or a once-in-a-lifetime moment in sharp detail. To help you frame your shot, the SL3 uses an optical viewfinder with a wide area 9-point AF system that's designed to reach sharp focus in an instant, making it easy to capture the action no matter where the subject moves, even in bright light situations. And when you're ready to transfer your files to your Android or iOS phone or other device, the SL3's built-in Bluetooth lets you pair with the camera. Using the Canon Camera Connect app, you can transfer your files over Wi-Fi or even use your phone as a remote control. Battery life is better than average, giving you around 1,070 shots with the optical viewfinder or around 320 using LiveView. The EOS Rebel SL3 is a great entry-level DSLR that performs well on all fronts and gives you the added benefit of a creative assist mode that helps you with photographic concepts so you can explore different settings in real time. Next, we'll be looking at the Nikon D3500, our choice for best budget entry-level DSLR. If you're taking your first steps into the world of creative manual photography, then the Nikon D3500 is one of the best budget entry-level DSLRs you can buy right now. Priced at around $600, the D3500 comes with an 18-55mm f3 lens kit so you'll be ready to shoot right out of the box without breaking the bank. The grip of the D3500 is substantial when you pick it up and fits comfortably in the hand, and offers better balance when shooting with longer and heavier lenses. If you can take a picture with your smartphone, you can take a great picture with the D3500. The camera's auto mode will give you superb results in nearly any situation. If you want to learn while you shoot, just turn on the guide mode that acts as a fully interactive tutorial on photography, delivered to you on the rear 3-inch LCD display that sits flush with the body and gives you a 921K dot resolution. The D3500 is fast and responsive, and simple to use. Just point and shoot one amazing photo after the other. The D3500's high-resolution 24.2 megapixel sensor produces impressive results, giving your shots and videos rich, vibrant colors, deep contrast, minimal distortion, and beautiful soft backgrounds, even in less than ideal conditions. And Nikon's vibration reduction image stabilization will keep your photos sharp and videos steady when shooting handheld. It also enhances the D3500's low-light capabilities, letting you shoot at slower shutter speeds in low light. With a burst shooting speed of just 5 frames per second, the D3500 isn't really a camera suited for fast action, but is great for shooting pets and kids running around. Since most mirrorless cameras, and even a lot of smartphones offer 4K video, it's a bit disappointing to only see full HD 1080p capture on the D3500. It's not all bad news though. The D3500 can shoot at a smooth 60 over 50p, as well as 30 over 25p, 24p, and more. There's also an optical viewfinder which gives you a number of advantages. You'll see the exposure live, meaning you won't get any unexpected surprises when you fire the shutter along with a cleaner, lag-free view and coverage of 95%. While there's no Wi-Fi connectivity on the D3500, you do get Bluetooth, so it's possible to transfer images using Nikon SnapBridge app. Here, an always-on Bluetooth low-energy connection is made between the camera and your smart device, and you can configure SnapBridge so that the images are automatically transferred as you shoot, or later, so you can select particular images to transfer. You can even use your connected smartphone or tablet to remotely trigger the D3500 to take pictures. Battery life is way above average with an impressive 1550 shots or about 30 minutes of video recording. If you're just starting out with DSLR photography and need to stick to a budget, 
the Nikon D3500 would be a good choice for you. It gives you the added benefits of an included lens kit, guide mode to help you along, and Nikon's vibration reduction image stabilization to make your handheld recording smoother. Last, we'll be taking a look at the Canon EOS Rebel T8i, our choice for best overall entry-level DSLR. The Canon EOS Rebel T8i retails for around $900 and is one of the best overall entry-level DSLRs available. It comes equipped with a lens kit and offers several improvements over its extremely popular predecessor, the T7i. The T8i's body design is compact, but comes with top and rear dials for dual control of both shutter speed and aperture. It comes with an EFS 18-55mm lens kit that gives you a focal range versatile enough for you to capture everything from wide-angle landscapes to portraits, but you can use an EF or EFS lens with the camera. The body of this camera weighs 515 grams and maintains a light feel, even with the lens attached, and it's easy to hold and shoot. And to give you added flexibility to shoot from challenging positions, the T8i features a 3-inch very angle touchscreen, which can be positioned at almost any angle for more creative compositions. The T8i is also outfitted with an especially easy-to-use guided menu interface that explains features like how aperture priority mode can be used to blur a background behind your subject, or how to keep landscapes in focus. And there's always Canon's traditional menu system if you'd rather have more precise settings control. On the mode dial, you have access to standard exposure shooting modes, as well as various creative filters that let you add visual effects like grainy black and white, the fisheye effect, and miniature effect. You also have access to scene modes that are helpful options for beginners who need a hand in specific shooting scenarios. The powerful 24.1 megapixel CMOS APS-C sensor, Digigate image processor, and wide ISO range of 100 to 25,600 lets you capture images with incredible resolution, even in low light. And focusing using the touchscreen in live view offers far greater control and accuracy with 143 points in automatic mode or 3,975 points in manual selection thanks to the dual pixel CMOS AF. The 7 frames per second burst rate is on the low side of speed, but still does a reasonably good job at capturing kids playing, and a standout feature of the burst mode is its ability to maintain focus with the AI Servo AF, even when the focus distance is rapidly changing. For video, you can shoot in 4K at a frame rate of up to 24p for high-definition cinematic results, or record in 1080p with a choice in frame rate of either 60 or 30p. Also worth noting is that the camera can film vertically, something that's becoming increasingly important when shooting stories for Facebook and Instagram. And with the smaller EOS body comes a tiny LP E17 battery that will last for 800 shots using the viewfinder or 310 shots using the live view on the touchscreen. To manage and transfer your files, Canon's Camera Connect app takes care of everything. It's a simple and straightforward process to get videos and images quickly uploaded to your phone or tablet. The Canon EOS Rebel T8i is one of the best overall entry-level DSLRs that comes complete with a lens kit and gives you balance between price, performance, and usability. Alright guys, that's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and leave a like. If you're new to the channel and you like the video, consider subscribing. We do our best to keep you up to date with the best products on the market right now, so if you want to stay current regarding the best gear, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to check out the description for links to find the most up-to-date pricing on all the products mentioned in this video. Hope you all have a great day, and we'll see you back here soon for the next video.